Food services at any college campus is an important issue, and the food services at Darton State is no exception. From meal plans to the price of food, students always have questions or comments. It's extremely important to get student feedback because every campus is different. So the offerings that we have here are also based on what the student needs are and what they want. The Darton CAF currently offers four different student meal plans for students to choose from, or they can also pay with cash or a credit card. Darton State student Fatima Humari explains why she doesn't eat in the CAF that much and what she would like to see changed. I don't eat in the CAF right now simply because it's, meal plans are really expensive. There's not really much of a variety. They have basically the same things every day. I'd like to see more of a variety here, like maybe more vegetarian options. For those students like Fatima who are looking for healthier options, unlike a burger and fries, Peterson tells us what other healthier options the students have. We have two programs that we're currently running here. One of them is Simple Servings, which is um, our allergen-free line. We also have our Mindful program, which is identified by different icons on all of our signage. It looks like a, a heart-shaped apple. Um, and it's called Mindful, and that's to identify different items throughout the calf. Another big question that most students had was, Why don't we have a um, Chick-fil-A or a Subway? And the answer to that question? We are working towards that, and hopefully in the next year to two years, we'll be able to grow in that direction. We'll make the decisions on what brands, either national or in-house brands, that we feel would best meet the needs of the students for the campus, whether it be Chick-fil-A or Pizza Hut. I conducted a study in seeing what was healthier, a meal from the cafeteria or a comparable meal from a fast food restaurant. Here's what I found. A classic cheeseburger, fries, and a Coca-Cola from the cafeteria had a total of 810 calories, 36 grams of fat, and a whopping 710 milligrams of sodium. Next, I took a trip to McDonald's to see how they fared against the calf food. There, I found that the same meal had 880 calories, 31 grams of fat, and an astounding 960 milligrams of sodium. My next study was to compare prices for dinner buffets between the Darton State Calf and Ryan's. Both of these are all-you-can-eat prices at dinner time. For an all-you-can-eat meal in the calf, the price was $10 for the food in the food line only, fountain drink, and a dessert. I made a phone call to the local Ryan's restaurant here in Albany, and their price for an adult all-you-can-eat dinner was $13.89. This price included meal, drink, and dessert. For more information about meal plans and to even see the menu for the week ahead, just visit the dining services page at dartondining.com. From the Dart State Cafeteria, this is JT Fellows reporting.